these attributes, <laughs> then you will not beat diabetes or any other disease for that matter. And again, uh, this cell, uh, this diagram is, is a, represents a cell and identifies again the key components and the key functions that a cell must perform. Nourishment by absorbing nutrients, uh, producing energy, getting rid of toxins, communication, When I was growing up, um, I, had, I had problems with my eyes when I was in seventh grade. My, my father got me glasses. And um, the glasses actually saved my life. Because in my neighborhood, um, well, if you wore glasses, they beat you up. But because I did have the glasses and I could see them coming, I, I could run. Some of the biomarkers for a nutritional program, again, the biomarkers, foods must be rich in antioxidants, anti-inflammatory properties, fiber, repair capabilities. There are foods that are designed by God, who's the ultimate engineer to repair your body. Hormone modulators, foods, help to regulate the hormones. Cleansing properties and energy producers. So what are the superfoods? Number one superfood. Vegetables, 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 vegetables. If there's one, if you, if you learn anything today, every time you consume a meal, it must contain a green or bright colored vegetable. Period. No negotiation. If your objective is to beat the disease. Number one, liquids, lean protein. Unsaturated fats, omega-3 fats, and organic whole grains, although I do not recommend grains for any diabetics during recovery. During the first three to six months, I shut down grain completely. It helps to accelerate the repair process. Eventually, you'll be able to get back to the grain. The five dead foods. Um, Flour, 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 flour. Uh, it's not about the sugar, people. It's the high fructose corn syrup, the trans fats, the saturated fats, and the drugs. Um, and um, because we are, we're, we are, I'm running a little behind, so I should probably maybe take some questions. When you yes. Said, uh, um, the you didn't advise grains during the first three months or so recovery right. period. Um, <coughs> do you believe that they tend to um, foster inflammation? Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Grain is inflammatory. Grain is the number one producing food in America. You want to become diabetic, want to develop cancer, just keep eating that white bread, keep eating that wheat bread, keep eating that oatmeal in the morning. Okay. I know. If you're a diabetic, oatmeal in the morning fuels your disease. If you don't believe me, keep eating oatmeal, test your blood sugar, try my protocol, and compare. The numbers do not lie. You were um, saying you ate Brussels sprouts for a week? Brussels, yep. And what other kinds, if you're eating the vegetables, right. are you eating Primarily raw, steamed, a lot of vegetable juices. The trinity of vegetables for diabetics. Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and spinach. And then I use the others, uh, onions, uh, garlic, 
uh, red peppers, yellow peppers, green, all different color peppers because peppers contain carotenoids, antioxidants. And when you add those two, the uh, spinach, the broccoli, changes the taste, but it also increases the nutritional value of that particular food. And it helps to fight the disease. And if you're taking supplements, if you're a diabetic, save your money. <laughs> supplements are just not that powerful on their own. They will work once you change your nutritional program. That's why they call them supplements. They supplement. Unfortunately, I can't get into a biochemical discussion on, on the vitamin C and vitamin E at this point. But, yeah, read the labels. Most vitamin E sold in America is called alpha tocopherol. Alpha tocopherol is one of eight molecules that make up the vitamin E molecule. Consequently, you are only consuming one-eighth of vitamin E. What do you think your body does with one-eighth of a, of a molecule? It, it tries to get rid of it because it thinks it's a chemical. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, let me, yeah, there's type 1, type 2. Type um, 1, where you take pill, and type 2 is where you take insulin? No, uh, yeah, no, type 1 is an autoimmune disease where the beta cells have gone dormant. Therefore, you must take insulin, unfortunately. That's type 1. That's called insulin dependent. Type 2, the insulin, the cells just aren't working properly. Um, it's a lifestyle disease. Type 2 did not exist until 1953. What happened in 1953? Processed foods, people. Track processed foods from 1953 and you will track how type 2 diabetes has become the number one chronic disease in America. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me? Type 2, that's what we've been talking about. Oh, the traditional way um, is with drugs. Basically, the protocol is to suppress the symptoms. So whether you're taking an oral drug, or in my case, insulin, the drug treatment protocol suppresses the symptoms. It suppresses, it lowers your blood glucose level to a normal level, but it's false. Blood pressure medication lowers your, your blood pressure to a false level that you think is, oh, oh, oh I'm doing better. Uh, people tell me all the time, I got my blood pressure under control. I say, oh, good for you, what are you eating? Oh, I'm taking a pill. You don't have it under control. You're suppressing that condition. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yeah, wheat germ oil. High levels of vitamin E. Yep, wheat germ oil. Yep. And what about sea salt? Uh, uh, yeah, just make sure it's, it's, it's organic. The primary problem with salt in this country is that it's a chemical. It's processed. And most of the salt sold in the grocery store has little sand particles in it. it causes high blood pressure. Saudi sea salt? Yeah, so, yep, yep. Hmm? Yep, the book defines a wellness protocol for high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high inflammation, high homocysteine, uh, the kidney problems, neuropathy. I address all those issues because they're all connected to the same disease. Yep, yep. Chapter 15. Yes, sir. Can I come forward and give a little testimony, please? Okay. Only take a I had severe diabetic, diabetes. My blood sugar was running over 400 at times. I went from I went from that on his program in four days down to 122. Okay, it's it's a doable program. I'm going to start. That's good. We're going to develop a protocol for support groups 
and people be in touch with the Committee for Freedom of Choice. We're going to let this be known and produce the videos and that to give to the different organizations. Thank you. And I think I should probably. Hmm? Oh, oh yeah, I guess I should. Yeah, 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 this is the book they said could not be produced. And the publisher that said it couldn't happen turned around and said, Dwayne, can we have a DVD? And uh, with that, I would like uh, to thank you, and uh, I apologize. Uh, I, have, I have not been able to figure out how to talk about this disease in less than four hours. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'll work on it. Thank you.